For many people with epilepsy, the, the most disabling aspect of seizures is the fact that they appear to be unpredictable. So to many people with epilepsy will experience continuous anxiety and concern about when their next seizure might happen. We know from consultations with the epilepsy community that, that for many people with epilepsy their highest priority would be to come up with some kind of method, technique, device that would allow that person to know how likely it is that they would have a seizure in the next period of time. So our project is part of the My Seizure Gauge program. It's a large international collaboration aiming to find which technology and devices can be used in daily lives to predict when a seizure might happen in an individual person with epilepsy. In our study, we will use a newly developed medical device uh, that is capable of measuring EEG, or electroencephalography, uh, from electrodes placed easily under the skin. Uh, we can then access a person's brain waves throughout the day including before, during and after a seizure. Well, people ask what causes my seizures, what triggers my seizures, are various questions as any sort of curious person does. And actually my, quest my answer quite a lot of the time is just, I don't know, there are theories, but yeah, I, I don't know. So to be able to feel a bit more empowered about making decisions and telling people about a condition that does affect me sort of day to day um, would be fantastic. Be honest, when it first was implanted, I have to say it was pretty uncomfortable, but then my head sort of was, you know, had this broken skin and it took a while to heal up. But now I think having had it in for over two months, actually I do barely notice it. it's become very much a routine, all very positive. The typical way EEG is recorded in the hospital is with simple electrodes that are glued onto the scalp and EEG can be recorded for usually a few hours and at most a few days. You, you really can't live your life with electrodes and wires glued onto your scalp. So subcutaneous EEG is, is really a step forward. In simple terms, what we aim to get from this project is uh, a number of people with epilepsy enrolled into the project and for them to live with that device for many months and during that time we would expect some seizures to occur. So at the end of that time, I really hope we'll have a robust way of extracting a signal from those data and using that signal to create some kind of warning or alarm or forecasting system for, for people with epilepsy. I would hope that at some point I'd be able to build up a clearer picture of um, when my seizure was occurring and when I might be more likely to have a seizure, when it might then inform whether or not I should be going for a long run or taking part in a big swim, whether I maybe should just be taking it easy for a certain days and maybe confirming slight suspicions about when I think I've had seizures and, and so forth and also if there are any other indicators to what affects when my seizures happen. So early days but lots to learn I hope.